The History of Pride. It's the time of the year that the LGBTQ plus community in Hull get ready for their Pride celebrations at the end of July. But we start celebrating before our official day, especially when the world gets together for June, otherwise known as Pride Month. But where does Pride Month and our Pride Parades actually come from? The Pride Parade origin starts back in the 60s, a time where dressing non-conforming to your perceived gender was illegal. That means drag artists and trans people were discriminated against. Even those who police perceived as women could be arrested if they were wearing less than three pieces of what the police thought was feminine clothing. At the time, a lot of people who did not conform to their perceived gender were homeless, abandoned by their biological family, moving into places such as New York City to find refuge within the LGBTQ plus community at the time. More so for drag and trans communities was this a problem. Places such as the Stonewall Inn in New York City became homes for these people and many under the age of 18. During a raid of the Stonewall Inn in New York City, patrons fought back against police, resulting in Stonewall Inn being burnt down and the night becoming a major event that started what we know as Pride Marches today. People attribute the original Pride March as we know it to the Christopher Street Liberation Day March in New York City, which is the street where the Stonewall Inn is situated. Although the history of Pride doesn't start directly at the Stonewall riots, uprising and activism happened across the 50s and 60s and all had an influence on what we see in today's celebrations and protests. What you may not know is that Pride started with the trans and gender non-conforming people of the time and they were often black and people of colour. People like Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera founded the Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries who organised protests and actions whilst providing shelter for trans people and LGBTQ plus homeless people. Associations such as the Gay Liberation Front and the Bay Area Bisexual Network started to coincide with the 1970s anti-racist and anti-war movements. These saw protests, sit-ins and direct actions all against oppression and demanded structural change. Pride has radical roots full of protests and call for actions, similar to what we've seen in the past and what we're seeing right now in the present relating to Black Lives Matter movements. But many are calling for Pride, the events and the month, to become less commercialised and to bring back a protest, especially with the focus of fighting against oppression. Many argue that although one month in the year is better than nothing, they worry that companies jump on the bandwagon, waving a rainbow flag for a month, and then they go back to normal actions and not making any systemic change or internal company change to fight oppression in the workplace. It is a conversation that will carry on, especially through this year, where we have seen action and a fight for black lives, and we hope to see further action for oppressed people. Knowing your history by watching resources like this will help you become a better part of the change. Take what you have learned in this video, talk to friends and family about what Pride is and why it's important. You can even have your own Pride celebration this July. You can do it at home with friends and family, or meet up safely in a public area dress up in rainbows and see a live event. Thank you for watching our video today. You can find more content like this over on our Instagram by searching at GYB Hull or you can find us over on Facebook by searching Got Your Back Hull. If you're a service or a professional, you can keep up to date with our activities on our bespoke feed on Twitter by searching at GYB Hull.